What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show you how to use branch.io in order to maximize the benefits of your ad campaign. So branch.io is a great platform to follow up and manage your ads and you have to go here to the branch.io website and you will land on this page here. If you scroll down you will find some uh, like uh, features and an overview of uh, the platform and its features. And here you, if I go up here, I can like sign up to a, a free account here. So that's what I'll do. So I'll click on sign up and it'll ask me to enter some basic details like my name and my email and create a password and so on to in order to create my free account. So I'll go ahead and enter all these details and then create my account. Okay, once I entered my email and password and uh, all these details and I confirmed my email and then signed in to uh, my account here. So um, here I landed on this page. So here I'll choose launch mobile app today. We can get started and it'll open here my dashboard. So this is my main dashboard here. These are all the data for my app or here the clicks, number of clicks, uh, the installs, the number of installs, someone installs my app, the number of opens and reinstalls and so on. And here I can have like quick links, can view the quick links, the settings for the quick links, so uh, the number of, quick, of clicks, installs and so on. Or the universal ads, also the settings for the universal ads. And here I have the channels and links uh, options. So if we go to ads here, click on it, I can view the analytics for my ads. So here I can view all the settings uh, for my app and I can view like the organic clicks and the uniques and the date and on the plat which platforms and so on and I can view here the categorized by or compare by ad partner or campaign and I can add new text so here uh, I can click on each uh, like field here to expand it so if we click like on campaign I can view like the analytics however I haven't done anything yet so the analytics is empty and here if I click on ads I can like uh, view or click on links here to create a new link and I can here from this page create an ad link as you can see here there are no ad links uh, found because I haven't created any so if we create ad link here from the top here uh, it said that this feature is locked and I need to add a credit card to use it however uh, if you add your credit card if you go ahead and add your credit card this is where you can create your ad link here and if we go to journeys we can get started with the journeys so uh, it turns your mobile web traffic into an organic app here uh, and here here you can click to get started and you can click on email here to uh, select email service provider here as you can see there are so many uh, service providers associated with in branch you can use them in branch.io and if we go to quick links we can like create uh, quick links here so uh, here you can like click on create and create a quick link or add link or journey so let's click to create a quick link here click on quick link and also as add link this feature is not available since it needs credit card so I'll need to enter or add my credit card however once you add your credit card um, here uh, you can click on them you can also create a journey here however you can sign up uh, to it you have the self serve uh, platform or the subscription the free subscription which you're on and the enterprise is custom pricing so it's custom based on the features that you choose to pay for okay so here we can view like if we go to sources we can view the analytics here for the sources and we can compare by campaign and we can also add filter and view by organic and unique and so on and the data feeds we can get started with branch data to get your fuel our analytics system with branch data daily exports here we can view uh, like uh, by day or by date the exports and we can export these data the installs clicks opens and reinstalls and so on and here custom exports we can customize our export here so we can get started and here we can configure 
like if you go to account settings we can view our account settings here we can edit we can add like our app name our app id and we can copy our app id in order to integrate it and here we can change our time zone and the branch keys here for the app we can view them here or we can reset them okay and if you go to integration status here we can view the status of all our integrations here as you can see i haven't done any one yet and here if i click on upgrade in many of these pages It'll ask me to my phone to enter my phone number and contact the sales to upgrade to a an enterprise plan. And here in the test devices, I can install the app that called that's called branch device ID finder. It's available for iOS and Android, and I can here add a device. Can enter the device name, the device ID, and select the platform, so iOS and Android to add uh, this device here as a test device and here I can view my recent activity of course there isn't any activity yet and here are all the options that you can use here on branch.io so if we go back to summary we can also edit the date range here for the summary so last seven days 390 or custom date we can also share the our reports here uh, save views and our, can share the report page or print it or save it as a document and i can view all these settings here and here if we click on unnamed app here at the top we can enter a name so how to simple and here we can create a new app okay create new app so we'll add an app name again so how to simple okay and you can choose the time zone click on create and now the app is created and as you can see here we have the branch key and the secret key for the app here we can view them we can reset them and you have the app id here to uh, if we to integrate it with the app and the, also the time zone and we can here view the user Oh, or the dashboard UID and the user the settings of the user and billing usage team agencies and SSO here for the app and if we go to profile here if you go back to profile and scroll down you have the option to save the settings and create the app or delete this app so here is like a summary and overview of branch.io and its features as you can see there are so many features to further control your app here and its settings.